नेक्स्ट इज सेस एंड सर चार्ज ओके वो तार समथिंग लाइक टैक्स ओनली ओके इट इज एडेड टू इनकम और इट्स एडेड टू द गुड्स एंड सर्विस दैट यू कंज्यूम इट इज लाइक अ टैक्स बट सम लिटिल बिट चेंज लिटिल बिट डिफरेंस इज ओवर हियर बिफोर वी गो इन टू दैट देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ फंड कंसोलिडेटेड फंड ऑफ इंडिया कंटिजेंसी फंड ऑफ इंडिया एंड पब्लिक अकाउंट ऑफ इंडिया सो दीज आर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ फंड आर देर इन इंडिया इट कैन बी विद स्टेट ऑल्सो कंसोलिडेटेड फंड ऑफ स्टेट प्लीज दैट सो इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन और स्टैचुटरीली दे आर प्रोवाइडेड लीव दैट दैट्स फॉर द पॉलिटी पार्ट so consolidated fund of india basically all the money that the government receives all the government the uh, money the government receives receive is put under this consolidated fund of india agreed so all expenditures also comes from consolidated fund of india it is kept under the parliament control yes who is the custodian of consolidated fund of india parliament so without parliament's approval no money can be deposited no money can be spent from consolidated fund of india okay so that is one thing so what happens is with respect to tax whatever money that is collected from the tax uh, as part of tax goes to the consolidated fund of india and it can be used only with the approval of parliament but cess is not like that so cess is collected for a particular purpose though when you collect cess it goes to the consolidated fund of india but that it is immediately transferred to another fund from which that money is used for that particular purpose itself it goes to a public account fund it can be named differently but it goes to a public account fund this one so who will keep this public account fund it is under whose control it is under the control of the executive whose uh, contingency fund is under whose control president correct you know that this is under the control of the president this is under the control of parliament this is under the control of the executive executive can be anybody it can be like ministry of finance it can be health ministry so, whatever cess that is collected in the health is kept in a fund which is kept under the disposal of ministry of health and family welfare anyways we'll come to that so this public account is kept under the control of executive it can be anybody like a provident fund uh, department of provident fund whatever that uh, is there like that okay or it can be under the ministry of women and child and uh, child women and child welfare ministry if it is that see what is this public account just to recap your polity whose money it is see consolidated fund of india is public money everybody uh, the citizens of this country contribute that money goes to the consolidated fund contingency for emergency purpose public account is beneficiaries correct example beneficiaries who are depositing money with the government that money is generally kept in public account so like that sukanya samriddhi yojana scheme yesterday i showed you no so the money that is collected by the government under that scheme is kept under public account national savings certificate you go and deposit money in post office national savings certificate that money is kept in our public account why because tomorrow when you want it back when the beneficiaries want it back the executive will give it immediately they don't have to ask whom parliament parliament approval is not required because it is not public's money which is kept in it is a beneficiary's money so when the beneficiary wants it they have to give it understood all of you so that is why it is kept under the respective ministries or department okay so whenever they want it they have to give it 
they have no other choice here it's not like that when money has to be used from consolidated fund of india they have to take the permission of parliament same way even this cess is not kept in consolidated fund of india it is kept outside the cons it goes to consolidated from there it goes to another type of fund and it is kept under whom now it is kept under the executive and they can use it whenever they want okay so that is one thing that uh, you have understood okay that is one thing that you have understood then one more thing is that cess is for a particular purpose surcharge is addition tax but uh, levied on individuals who are rich but it can be used for any purpose cess is additional tax levied on goods and services or on income and the proceeds of which should be used for only a particular purpose that's the difference between cess surcharge and taxes so cess is additional tax in order to raise fund for predetermined purpose it cannot be sent spent for other purpose like motor vehicle if they add add cess additional cess can be levied okay so anything it can be income tax for everything so cess tax to raise fund for predetermined purpose cannot be spent for other purpose whereas surcharge is additional tax or fee or other charges levied okay charges on already existing tax it is spent for any other purpose any other purpose now these are the uh, examples okay you don't have to remember these as such okay so swachh bharat cess was earlier levied on services so whenever you paid service tax in addition to that service tax you had to pay 0.5% swachh bharat says i don't know if you remember before gst when you used to pay service tax so service tax plus swachh bharat says used to be there remember okay so that is what is this today we have 4% health and education says on the income tax ha huh? yeah yeah all that is i mean i just gave examples that's all there more says you have coal says and things like that all that is there so just to give you an example why these two examples let me tell you so says can either be on the tax or it can be on its value i'll repeat the says can be levied on the value of the product or it can be on the tax okay what do you mean by this is let's say 100 rupees is the value okay tax is 10% so how much is the tax 10 rupees correct tax is 10 rupees so totally it comes up to 110 now let's say cess is 10% let's say cess is 10% so it can be tax value of product cess can be on the value of product so if it is value on the value of product how much is it 10 10 rupees so how much it is now 120 rupees totally 10 rupees tax 10 rupees cess 100 rupees value totally 120 rupees or it can be cess can be on the tax so if it is on the tax 10% means 1 rupee so how much is it now 100 and did you understand so it can be tax on tax or it can be tax on value okay so that's what it is so here swachh bharat abhiyan was on value health and education cess is on tax okay understood so 4% health and education cess on the income tax swachh bharat cess is on the value of service is on the value of service understood 
Yes, all of you. So some books mention that it is tax on tax only. It's not like that. Okay, so those those books are wrong. So it can be tax on tax, or it can be tax on value. So don't go by that definition. So it, those are wrong. Okay, so when you read in some books, it may be wrong like that. So basically, cess means what? It is an additional tax only, but for the purpose of a specific. Uh, I mean, for a uh, for a particular reason, that is cess. Then why surcharge? Surcharge also is a tax. Just that the government is little greedy. It wants more money. It sees a rich person, they'll say, "Oh, come, you pay more tax. I will levy surcharge on you." So surcharge is on rich people generally, or rich companies. That is a surcharge. So surcharge. See, for example, somebody who is rich and has more than fifty lakh income. Fifty lakh to one crore, they'll say, "Hey, you have too much money. I will charge you ten percent surcharge." Somebody's income is more than one crore, they like fifteen percent surcharge. Okay, on the tax. Okay, ten percent on the tax, fifteen percent on the tax. Usually, surcharge is on the tax. Tax on tax. Surcharge is not on the value. Okay, companies also, if they are earning a net income is more than one crore. To ten crore, if it is a domestic company, they have to pay seven percent. If it is a foreign company, they have to pay two percent surcharge. Numbers are not important. Okay, it keeps changing. Nobody will ask in the exam. But idea is important. Okay, so with that, let's see the difference between the cess and surcharge. So cess can be tax on tax or on the value, whereas surcharge is usually tax on tax, additional fees. Or levy, in addition to the regular tax, and it is calculated on the tax. So surcharge is ten percent means surcharge is ten percent means. So tax is ten rupees. Okay, let's say ten uh, percent tax. So here it is ten rupees is the tax. So ten percent of ten rupees that is surcharge to every taxpayer. Whereas surcharge is only when the income exceeds certain amount. Cess is for everybody. Okay, used for specific object only. Objective only. It cannot be spent for other purpose. Whereas surcharge, it goes to what? Consolidated Fund of India and can be spent for any purpose. Then same rate for everybody. Rate will. Vary. You saw, no, fifty to one crore, one crore to above, like that. It varies. Then another important reason why central government chooses cess and surcharge over increasing the tax. It will not increase tax, but it will add cess because tax means they have to share it with state. Cess surcharge they don't have to share it with states. Okay, so why why? Uh, union government, or rather, the government uh, levies these cess. So one is easy to introduce. See, unlike taxes, which requires amendments, okay, cess can be introduced by a government notification. Easy to introduce, modify it, and even abolish it. It can be introduced by a notification. It does not require a law. It need not share it with states. It is used for a specific purpose, so it will promote welfare. Now, health, education—that money is there. It cannot be used for anything else. Government will have to use it for education, have to use it for clean energy, have to use it for such barat like that. It cannot use it for any other purpose. Okay, and lastly, can be carried to the next year. That means it is non-lapsable. Very important. I forgot to mention it earlier. It is non. Lapsable cess is non-lapsable. So what happens is, whenever a money is sanctioned, so in Consolidated Fund of India, what happens? Budget, okay, approves what money has to be used from the Consolidated Fund of India. Yes, okay. That budget is not. What is budget? Budget is nothing but demand. Yes, demand for grants. Meaning, government is asking money from the parliament that I need this much money for these these purpose. 
that is approved in the budget but the budget validity is only one financial year if the money is not used in that financial year the money goes back to the consolidated fund of india let's say in the budget 100 crore is sanctioned for education if the government does not spend 100 crore it spends only 90 crore there is 10 crore balance that will not go to the next year it will go back to the consolidated fund of india next year again it has to get approved whereas cess is not like that because they have created a separate fund where the money is deposited that fund will not lapse it will continue until it is required okay so can be carried to the next year unspent so what happens is it will in a way bring efficiency if it has to be spent in one year what will happen at the end of the financial year towards the end of the financial year government will rush to spend that money uh, whichever expenditure it can justify it will go on spending you might have heard of this word called as march rush so march end may everybody has to start spending february everybody road they will break down start building new road uh, things like that they will start doing because they want to spend that money okay but in cess it doesn't happen they can plan properly spend it accordingly okay so that's the advantage of cess so this last year you might have read in current affairs right so to use the uh, cess collected for from health uh, health cess the government has created a fund called as pradhan mantri swasthya suraksha nidhi this is what i was trying to recollect that time okay so pradhan mantri swasthya suraksha nidhi so basically it is a fund which is created out of the cess collected on health health cess which we collect no income tax okay you have to pay health cess so that money is put into this fund this fund is the called as swasthya suraksha nidhi nidhi is fund okay so it is a single non lapsable reserve fund for health where is it in public account from where did it come from the proceeds of health and education cess levied on income tax so that money is under which it's under executive who is that executive minister of health and family that's why i told you it's in so you should be very clear right consolidated fund parliament contingency fund president public account the respective ministry executive so here it is under the ministry of health and family welfare so example is ayushman bharat scheme national health mission scheme or uh, you know health emergency or pension i mean uh, you know Man, uh, pradhan mantri uh, suraksha yojana insurance scheme it can be used to so vaccination covid vaccine etc are funded can be funded from this as simple as that see current affairs should be related when they ask there you should you know when we read current affairs if you don't link it with concepts you tend to uh, you know neglect certain important part like you would have read pradhan mantri swasthya suraksha you will not focus on public account so suddenly they'll ask all the money collected from this one is kept under consolidated fund of india if you are not paying attention you might get confused so things like that 